Hey, welcome back. We're in the book of Exodus now. We're in chapter 27, and we have verses 9 to 19. I'm not going to read all those verses because, uh, yeah, do you really want to see my lips just move, and then we fire off here and we're done? But let me read a couple of them. You shall make the court of the tabernacle on the south side. There shall be hangings through the court of fine twisted linen and 100 cubits long on either on, for one side. Its pillars shall be 20 with their 20 sockets of bronze and the hooks and the pillars and their bands shall be of silver. Likewise on the north side and so on it goes. It's basically the same on the north side as on the south side. And there's some details here about the sanctuary area. So here we have a screen set up around kind of in a rectangular form. Uh, it was to be oriented. Uh, basically east-west, you entered the door, there was only one door, you entered from the eastern side, so you were facing west as you entered, your back was to the rising sun, your back was, no, your face was not to the rising sun, your back was to the rising sun. God's glory is to your west, you're looking toward the most holy place, and the sanctuary was oriented this way, and the tabernacle was inside that we've been discussing, that is inside uh, this perimeter, there's screen up and the people could see the top of it from outside inside the tabernacle or the holy and most holy places set up. So there was a bigger space, a space where several people could actually be there for worship, but it wasn't like a synagogue or a mosque or a church, you know, where people would sit and, and sing hymns. Uh, this was not a regular worship setting. You went there with your animal, your sacrifice, and you addressed that sacrifice and the priest ministered the blood. Remember, the sanctuary is kind of God's plan to get rid of sin out of the camp, out of his people and out of the camp. So it's not primarily a place where you would just go and bring your guitar, you know, and sing songs. It's a very solemn place. Now, here's something that's kind of interesting. You would think that the exact locations of all the different bits would be laid out for us. The bronze offering altar goes here, the laver goes here, the, the tabernacle goes here. It's really not. It's not laid out. Now, probably, probably it was laid out in the center, in, you know, very centered locations. But the text honestly does not tell us that. So again, we, we would infer that it was centered very in a way that we, to us, would be very, very carefully oriented, very exact, but uh, that's not really in the text. So someday we'll get to see the replay, you know, get to see the videos back and talk to people who were there. We'll know the facts. That's not a question. But the question right now is, you know, hey, let's be careful. It, we were not told it was measured exactly and put in such an exactly place. So maybe it was. But maybe it was a little bit different than the uh, pictures that we are shown. We don't know. The text does not tell us. Finally, I guess we would say one more thing. When you worshipped, you worshipped at God's house, but you did not worship in God's house. You worshipped at God's house. So the people would gather, take care of their offerings, and then they went their way. So the worship wasn't quite like our regular worships we have today in a church or a setting like that. All right, let's carry on. We'll see you back tomorrow morning in chapter, carrying right on to the next piece.